H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Yeah, one thing which I have missed here, uh, I just got a message from Patmini here. Thank you, Patmini. Thank you very much. So here, when I'm writing a command, I need to open the command, open the connection. So I need to write here um, con dot open. So we need to write in try catch block, but now I'm not writing it. So con dot open, and after this I have to close. So con dot close. Okay. So ideally you need to put inside a try catch block and you need to put finally block to close the connection. So just go through uh, yesterday's video um, if you are, it will be there. Okay, I mean in the previous class video. How to open uh, try catch block, open connection and uh, close the connection in the finally block, checking the connection state. Okay. Now, so I should not write here close because I am returning before that. So I should write it somewhere above. So control X, I can actually put here. Okay, so now we are done with this. So we'll go to the BLL. So let me go to uh, solution and, and rebuild this and rebuild this database layer. Right click on this, rebuild. Now rebuild, rebuild succeeded. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this DLL to my business logic layer. So right click on this, add reference and browse I'm going to add the DLL so where I can find the DLL so if I want to find the DLL I need to click on here right click on this open containing folder and then I need to go to bin debug so this is the DLL so copy the path and then right click on your business logic layer references right click on this add reference paste the path browse click on browse and then paste the path here click on add and then select this okay now I'm selecting this so in the business logic layer so let me add a class so and I'll give the name as my BL class so right click on this add new item I'm going to add the class name as uh, my BL class business logic layer class so okay so I'm adding that now what I need to do is since I have uh, again I write the same method whatever I have in the uh, database layer validate login details so uh, what I will write here is public uh, bool validate validate credentials and then I'll put here string user ID string password So here, what I will do here is uh, uh, I'll I'll what is the namespace of this DBL my website? The namespace is DBL dot my website. So what I'll do here using DBL dot my website. So so I'm actually uh, uh, referring that. And what is the class? Uh, the class is my BL class. So what I'll do here. Normally we make the methods as static because uh, we don't want to create objects here so what I'll do here I'll go here I'll I'll make the class uh, public static I'll tell you why we need to do that static so even I can make the class a static but that's okay so now let me rebuild this and then let me go to this one let me rebuild here so so you have here so now how to access a static method all of you how do I access a static method do I need to create an object of this my uh, DB class my DB class MD is equal to do I need to write like this 
so I'm getting mixed answers some of you are telling I need to create an object and uh, some of you are telling uh, so do I need to write like this my DB class and then do I need to call MD dot I'm not seeing the method I repeat again as some of you said when you are create when you want to access a static method you don't need to create an object we have discussed this many times so whenever you want to access a static method you don't need to create an object the classic example for that is console dot write line console dot write line write line is a method which is present inside your console class but we are not creating an object for console to access write line method the reason because write line is a static method so if you want to access a static method you have to give class name dot method name okay so since I made that as static method so I don't need to create an object of it so all I need to do is I need to I need to write here um, dot validate credentials so so what I can do here bool result is equal to my uh, db class dot validate credentials I'm passing user ID and password and here if result equal to true and I will write here uh, I just I, I don't want to even uh, I just re return result return result okay so now now I'm done with the business layer so you might be wondering why we need this business layer I'm just calling DB layer so uh, we will see why we have we need to have a business logic layer so for now what I did was I created a class called my BL class and I added the reference of da database layer and I'm just calling the same method whatever I have and then uh, I'm returning the result now what we need to do now is add rebuild this uh, business logic layer rebuild this that will create a DLL now what you need to do is for your web application you need to add this DLL PLL dot my website so references uh, let me make this as public class okay so now let me rebuild this business logic layer class my BL website let me rebuild this and then add this to your web application so right click on this references add reference and uh, and where is that uh, business logic layer so right click on this I want to find where this is right click on this open containing folder and go to bin debug you will see that bll.my website so copy the path and then add it to the website add reference and I'm going to add uh, click on browse and paste here and then add that my uh, business logic layer so you should not add database layer for database layer for website so we should website should call business logic layer business logic layer should call database layer so that is what we call it as three uh, three tier architecture now uh, now what we are going to do here is in my login page in my login on double click I'm not going to write the code here like before how we used to write we used to write connection command everything I'm not going to write this okay so what I need to do here is I need to add the namespace so I need to add namespace called using using business logic layer dot uh, my website and then what I need to do okay I forgot to make the method as static so so we'll go here and uh, we'll make this public uh, static okay so the reason why I'm making static is uh, it doesn't make sense whether I create an object of my BL class or not so I, I I just want to call this method I don't want to create any objects for it I just want to call this method and pass user the password and and I need to get uh, the result that's all so so I do creating multiple objects does, doesn't make sense here so that's why I'm making this a static so now uh, I made this a static so let me uh, let me rebuild this uh, business logic layer right click on this rebuild and then go back here and uh, go back to your login.asfix.cs and here what you need to do is on button click you need to check whether uh, yeah so bool result equal to uh, what is the class name my business logic layer dot validate credentials 
uh, txt user id dot text comma txt password dot text okay and what i'm doing here if uh, this is important if if result i don't need to give if result equal to true uh, if it's a boolean you can just give if result okay if result i need to p i need to do redirect response dot redirect to i need to i, need, I can send him to home page and else um, so else what i need to do here let me add a label in my login page let me add a label below this source let me add a br tag br tag and then what i'll write here is asp colon label id equal to lbl message and then run at server okay so here in the uh, press f7 to go to the code view and here what i'm going to do lbl message dot text is equal to uh, uh, user id and password or not matching so this is how you need to give so now uh, this is the first time you're seeing now if you want to redirect to some other page in ASPX page or HTML page, you need to write anchor tag. So, for example, you might have seen already, you need to write like this ahref equal to, uh, you need to write home.aspx. If you want to do it in, uh, like this, you will write and you will write here home, a link there, and you will write here slash anchor tag. So, like this, we used to write in HTML page or in ASPX page where uh, in the left navigation we saw uh, navigation uh, pages but here when you want to redirect from aspx.cs file this is a cs file c sharp file if you want to redirect in a c sharp file you have to write response.redirect so you have to redirect to uh, redirect to your home page home.aspx okay so so i have written here response.redirect home.aspx if the result is true if the result is false i have to redirect to user id and password are not matching i have to display this label so let me do one thing uh, okay so now let's test it so let me rebuild it we are done with the three layer architecture project so let me rebuild it i'm going to explain one by one now so i'm getting some errors um, could not copy projects because it is not found okay so what I need to do here is I need to rebuild one by one. First one, can you guess which one I did? I need to rebuild first. So first I need to build a website or DLL or BLL. Data layer I need to build or so first the reference uh, my website is referring to business logic layer and my business logic layer is uh, referring DB layer. So let me build uh, so so let me rebuild this okay done it is succeeded and let me rebuild business logic layer okay done it is succeeded now what I need to build I need to build my website rebuild this so it is succeeded now things are fine now and uh, I need to add the setup startup page so my startup page is login.aspx right click on this set a startup page and uh, so now I have three projects in my application so far we are seeing only single project which is my website so whenever you have three projects in your project ensure that you make one project a startup project so right click on this and make the project a startup project set a startup project and then I mean you can see that uh, which the one which is highlighted is, is your start startup project so this my website is a startup project now run the project So I'm not going to put any breakpoints now. Uh, let's see whether whether it works or not. So now I'm writing logic here. So I'm entering invalid value, uh, Meghna, and password. So click on login. So user and password not matching. Let me give valid one make password click on this so I came to home page if you see here I'm in home page 
so I'm able to log in but the but the bad thing here is even if I don't have valid credentials for example copy this okay so I copied this okay I'm just doing copy okay and then what I'll do now here is I'll go to new tab and and paste it here even now I should uh, even even now for example if I go to some uh, uh, let's take in Google Chrome here if I paste it I should not be able to log in I should it should tell me uh, it should redirect me login page first login page then only I should come to home page so for that what I need to do here is uh, in 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 the home page in the login page I have to press F7 here if the result is true let me make some corrections here yeah so here what I'm doing here is if the result is true what I'm doing is I'm writing like this session session of validated session of valid is equal to true so what I'm doing is I'm creating a session variable I'm assigning valid equal to true if the result is true so I'm assigning a session value saying valid equal to true now what I'll do is in the home page in the home page in home page I'll press F7 and inside this I'll check for the logic if session of valid is equal to true okay or let me give instead of boolean uh, boolean will be confusing when you're assigning for a session even that should work out but let me give uh, some other thing here so let me give here yes I gave session of valid equal to yes so what I need to do here in the home.aspx I need to check if the session of valid is equal to yes and I'll put here dot to string or or I'll put here copy this and session of valid not equal to null and session of valid dot to string okay so here what I'm doing again so what I'm doing here is again I know I don't need to call the business logic letter or something if session of valid equal to not equal to null and session of valid dot to string equal to yes uh, what I'm doing I will uh, okay just a second okay here nothing so else I'll tell you I'll explain once again just a second else what I'm doing here is response dot redirect to login dot ASPX okay so actually we can write this in a negative condition but I'll explain that now see what we are doing now here is in the in the home login dot ASPX page I'm just checking whether whether the user is valid or not if the user is valid user I'm I'm creating a session variable and I'm assigning session of valid equal to yes so if this value will will hold yes if the user is authenticated once assigning the session value I'm redirecting to home.aspx now if I go to in the home.aspx sometimes if 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 someone try to access the URL directly what that will do is that will check whether the session of valid is, is yes or not where I assign this value to yes I assign this value to yes in my login page only when the login ID password is true so now let me rebuild this you'll understand this better now when I rebuild this okay just a second uh, let me this is a problem so first DB layer rebuild it then business logic layer rebuild it then UI then this website rebuild it okay so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the project here and then I'll explain you uh, what is the use of it now I came to login page so imagine I know the path see for example I'll copy this I'll go to the new tab 
and if I paste it here and instead of login page say for example I'm entering home.aspx click on enter sorry home.aspx see again it's redirecting to login page even if I'm trying to go to home.aspx again it is redirecting to login page the reason why it is redirecting to login page is it is checking my session ID is null or session ID equal to yes then only it will not then only it will be in this page otherwise it will redirect me to the login page okay so so let me go to home.aspx and add some code here so this is my home page I'm already authenticated let's have this so now now what we'll do now we'll go to the login page and we'll enter valid values make and password see I came to home page now let's now let's copy this let's copy the path and try to do it in uh, Google new incognito uh, here so new here and I'm going to paste it see now previously you saw that in the login page we actually uh, when I entered home page uh, I'm actually seeing the home page but now when I enter home page I'm again redirected to login page that is the advantage of storing into session variable and checking with uh, uh, whether the session value is there or not how many of you understood this how about others uh, I got only one message is clear how about others How about others? I got two messages. So uh, the only point you need to remember is once that uh, that is true, we are assigning to a session value, and that session value before redirecting to home page, I assign that to session value. And sometimes even people, what they will do is if they know the URL, they will direct directly try to paste the URL there. Even if you paste the URL, since the session value is not there, it will again redirect to your home page, re re redirect to your login page. This is how you have to do in your project. So this is how even real time projects will be there you will have uh, you will have three layered architecture so three tire architecture where you will see three uh, class projects so nowadays all uh, sometimes what happens right your uh, your BLL and DBL will be web services but now I created a class library it can be web services as well so any questions here I got a question from a uh, question saying can we explain adding reference of uh, DB layer okay now first thing what we need to do is we need to create the DB layer the reason why we went to creating this DB layer is imagine now I want to create another project say for example let me create another website okay so I have something called file new project I have ASP.NET uh, say for example mobile application say for example we can actually do here uh, let me do one thing when you select just a second okay so now uh, if I'm selecting here uh, let's take uh, this is this is this is a mobile application so ASP.NET empty web application I'm going to give mobile application okay so now if I have a single page here inside this right click on this add new item I have a single page here say for example web form and I have here say for example one dot ASPX now if I want to write the uh, logic for connecting to database I don't want to write this again and again so what I can do is I can reuse the DLL which I already have that is the reason why we go for multiple uh, three layer architecture but imagine previously like yesterday or um, like previous class if we have written the logic on button click event we cannot reuse that that's the reason why we go for creating a three layer three layer architecture so this DB layer you can reuse it any number of projects all you need is you need that DLL 
So I can call this method validate credentials and I can check whether those are valid or not. Is it making sense? What? Why we need to go for three layered architecture? Three tier architecture? Because we need to reuse the DLLs across different projects. Okay. So first thing I added business logic DB layer and I added a class file one class which one method and I rebuild this. Once you rebuild once you rebuild this that will create a DLL. Then what I did I went to business logic layer and I created the same method business logic layer method and uh, I am calling I added the reference for database layer here and I'm calling this method my DB layer dot validate credentials and then I'm returning the result. So in UI layer, what I'm doing in U UI layer is, on click of this button, I'm calling this my business logic layer, and I'm validating this credentials. I'm calling business logic layer method, and and if that is valid, then I'm assigning session of valid equal to yes. The reason why I'm using session variable is I have to check this value in all the pages. Imagine I have ten pages. I want to show only after when the user is logged in then only I should show the respective page in the page load I have to check whether the session of valid is yes or not if it is yes then only I will I'll show the page if it is not yes I will redirect him to the login.aspx page okay so any questions here please practice on this yeah for the fact uh, for the um, here we are using session yeah. like mostly we use session or other service like uh, validation also we use it we use session variable so it's not validation actually see using session okay. variable is only to uh, share the data across pages okay so uh, i'm using session variable to hold some value which i want to use it in i uh, which i want to verify in all other pages just a second